Good evening. Thank you all for coming out tonight to celebrate our eighth grade class commencing on to high school. To begin our celebration, I'd like to present our newest high schoolers, the class of 2028. I'm Jim Winslow and I'm an assistant principal here at the high school. I work with our eighth grade specifically. I want to thank a handful of people for helping this event happen. This event would not be possible without Matt Eaton and the Hussey Theater stage crew, Ron Delisle and the Noble Custodial staff, secretaries Kim Dabriel and Linda Augustine, eighth grade guidance counselor Shelley LaJoy, as well as Nicole Ivey, Allison Kearney, and AJ Dufort. I'd like to point out some student helpers we have tonight. The Noble Ambassadors are a student-created and student-run group that have a mission to make students, newcomers, and visitors feel welcome at Noble High School. You may see a few of these students around tonight, and we have three specifically on stage tonight helping our eighth graders through the ceremony. A large number of our eighth graders have already committed to joining this group. Um, we're very happy that they are going to join and help others feel welcome at Noble. This event would also not be possible if it wasn't for all the hard work and dedication our class of 2028 displayed. Throughout this year, I have witnessed many, if not all students, find academic and social success here at the school. Tonight we're here to celebrate them and all they will bring to the Noble High School community. This group of students is very active in our school community. In this class, we have academic scholars, musicians, artists, athletes, actors and actresses, and numerous positive community members. Throughout the school year, many of our students have displayed characteristics of positivity, respect, integrity, dedication, and excellence. These five characteristics make up our Pride Awards. I'd like to take a moment to recognize a number of our students who have displayed and been recognized for all five of these characteristics throughout the school year. We had 38 students receive all five Pride Awards this year. I'd like to ask any students behind me who have received all five to now stand so we can applaud you. It has been a true pleasure getting to know these students this year, and I know they are destined for success as they start into their high school years. I would now like to introduce Miss Amy Mann, a ninth grade Maroon Teen Science teacher for our Welcome to Ninth Grade. I'm not that tall. So good evening. I'm so excited and honored to speak tonight to all of you. This is a very special group of students for a couple of reasons. Many of you I've known since kindergarten, and I've had the privilege to watch you all grow and develop as students and human beings. You are also a special group because I was able to get to know you on your DC trip. I do not normally like to take overnight trips with students, but I was so glad I went with you all, and I was able to experience DC with you, get to know many of you, and make some really fun, long-lasting memories. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Amy Mann, and I am a science teacher on the Maroon team. On behalf of the ninth grade teachers on Maroon, Gray, and White team, I would like to congratulate you on completing eighth grade and welcoming you to ninth grade. One of my most favorite quotes by one of my most favorite people is, to change the world, start with one thing, no matter how small, the first step is hardest of all. In September, you will be taking your first steps into high school. You will have every door and window of opportunity open to you, and I hope that you make good choices to keep as many options open for, you, for yourself as possible. Students, please listen closely. High school is full of transitions. Some are easy transitions, and some are not. Parents and guardians, please listen closely. <laughs> high school is full of transitions. Some are easy, and some are not. 
High school is hard, ninth grade is hard. Things get more difficult and challenging, but trust me when I say that you can do it. While I do not know all of you very well yet, I do know that you are prepared for all of the obstacles and challenges that you will be faced with in the next four years. And if you're not, or if you stumble, we are here to help you and to pick you up. Four years go by very quickly. You have the control to make these four years be enjoyable or not. You can choose to make good choices, learn, reflect, and grow, or you can choose to fight the process the entire way. For the past couple of years, I've had the opportunity to speak to eighth graders at the end of the year. When I first started, my daughter was entering kindergarten, and I gave her the same advice that I'm about to give you. Play nice in the sandbox. If you have nothing nice to say, do not say anything at all. It seems simple, but this one piece of advice will take you far in life. Do not get involved in drama. Leave the drama for reality TV, not Noble High School. Try your best in school. It might not always be fun, but I promise you, if you try your best and be involved in your learning, it will not seem so bad and you will be successful. One of my most memorable students that graduated a few years ago had a great quote during his junior year. He said, this school thing is not so hard if you just try. He is right, just try. Work with us, not against us. Use your powers for good and not evil. I've worked at Noble High School for a long time. I've probably taught some of your parents sitting in this audience. <clears throat> Every adult in this building wants you to be successful. We will all work with you, we will support you, we will encourage you, but you have to be willing to work with us. We are not your enemy. In fact, in most cases, we will be your biggest and loudest cheerleader, encouraging you every step of the way. In September, you will have a clean slate. The word legacy can be defined as a long lasting impression. You have a chance to make a first impression. Spend some time thinking about your legacy. How do you want to be remembered? What do you want people to think of when they hear your name? What do you want your story to be? You do not have to be perfect, but like I tell my own children, you just need to be the best you you can be. For the parents and guardians out there, please remember that they are only in ninth grade. High school is hard for them. For many years, I have heard people say they are in high school now and they can be on their own. This cannot be further from the truth. If anything, right now they need more structure, they need more guidance, they need more help making good choices. The ninth grade teachers want to be a team with you to help your student grow and be successful. And two other things for the grown-ups in the audience, they will have homework almost every night and they do not need their cell phones. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. Um, before I end, I would like to share some advice. Sorry, but you don't need them. Um, before I end, I would like to share some advice about ninth grade from some of this year's ninth graders. They say, try hard and pay attention. Participate in class. The more you get involved, the better the class is. Don't let work pile up until the end of the semester. It can get overwhelming and stressful. Do your work on time or before the due date and learn from your mistakes. I hope you all have a wonderful summer. Go outside, enjoy the fresh air, relax, have fun. We're looking forward to get to know you all and work with you in September. As you leave one temple of learning and enter a new temple of learning, I hope you remember that it is a great, big, beautiful tomorrow, and tomorrow is just a dream away. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Mann. We will now move on to recognizing a few of our eighth grade students for academic achievements in their classes. Two awards will be given tonight for each subject area, the Excellence Award and the Knight Award. The Excellence Award is awarded to students who show academic excellence throughout the school year. They have consistently found success and have set the bar for their team in terms of academic success. The Knight Award is awarded to students who have faced adversity and still achieved success in the subject area. The school year has presented hurdles, and these students have continued to work hard and be successful in the classroom. When your name is called, please come forward and receive your award. There will be three recipients for each award, so please hold your applause until all three have been announced. We will begin with English Language Arts. Our Excellence Awards in ELA go to Alana Clark, Genevieve Guineer, and Riley Murphy.
The Knight Award for ELA goes to Logan Higgins, Cassie Michaud, and Xander Upton. For math, the Excellence Awards go to Devin Kennedy, Nick Codzis, and Nikita Varney. The Knight Awards for math go to Zach Daigle, Hunter DeButz, and Addison Holt. In science, the excellence awards go to Maya Allen, Emily Herrick, and Olivia Polsonetti. The Knight Awards in Science go to Alexander Demers, Mason Spencer, and Addison St. Gillet. Our Social Studies Excellence Awards go to Tyler Gray, Zachary Morin, and Isabella Ropes. Last but not least, our Knight Awards for Social Studies goes to Courtney Orr, Lolly Quintero, and Mia Smith. Our final award of the evening is the State of Maine's 8th Grade Citizenship Award. The Secretary of State's 8th Grade Citizenship Award is presented to students throughout Maine who understand the importance of academic success and devote time and attention to making meaningful progress in their endeavors. The award also serves to recognize those individuals who take responsibility for their work and strive to make contributions to their community. This award is presented to one 8th grade student at each Maine school. Our eighth grade teachers and staff have nominated students based on these qualifications to determine the citizenship award winner from our school. The student that we have chosen has dedicated over 110 hours of volunteer service throughout the year. Their average grade is in the high 90s. They are a member of our soccer, volleyball, and softball teams. They served on our eighth grade dance committee. They sing in our eighth grade choir, and they've only missed one total day of school this year. Staff describe this student as a leader in the classroom who is kind and supportive of classmates. One teacher explained this student, quote, is always present, engaged, and motivates others around her. They have always been a role model and a leader. This student can be relied upon for any task, need, and is always positive to welcoming others. It is my pleasure to announce this year's recipient, a Maine eighth grade citizenship award for noble eighth grade, is Sydney Heitman.
I would now like to welcome our eighth grade choir to the stage, directed by our chorus teacher, Dr. Christian Giddings. Thank you to our eighth grade chorus. We will now proceed to the recognition part of our ceremony. All of these students will be commencing on to high school in the fall. We will be recognizing each student on stage tonight as they make this step in their academic journey. Haley Abbott. Nathan Elaine. <laughs> Olivia Allard. <laughs> Maya Allen. <laughs> Clayton Anderson. <laughs> Lee.
Lena Archie. Ryan Archie. Tristan Arsenault. Brooke Barron. Please bear with us. Devin Atkinson.
Shelby DeRosiers. Analia Diaz. Marilyn DiGostino. Olivia Doherty. Alexander Dwyron. Preston Dolly. Madison Doucet. Logan Dowdy. Liliana Dowling. Emily Dracopoulos. Megan Dumont. Anna Dupuy. Lillian Engel. Owen Feist. Isaiah Fitzgerald. Riley Flanagan. Benjamin Flynn. Nathaniel Gammon. Genevieve Guineer. Jacob Geyer. Jacob Gleason. Lily Golay. Cole Gorman. Zachary Gould. Leo Gray. Tyler Gray. Brendan Guitard. Carlene Haffenecker. Alec Hale. Owen Hasbrook. Caden Hasty. Grayson Hawkins. Carter Hewley. Callie Heath. Sydney Heitman. Emily Herrick. Estelle Holland. Addison Holt. Wesley Houston. Emma Hussey. Leo Irving. Griffin Ivy.
Rebecca Johnson. Addison Jones. Sienna Jones. Now we're going to try the same thing on this side. You guys ready? <laughs> Noah Key. Cora Kinder. Nicholas Kodzis. <laughs> Matthias Kokamram. <laughs> Carter Lamontang. <laughs> Mila Landry. Jayla LePan. Zachary Lazier. Scott Leggett. Aria Littlefield. Connor Lodge. Zachary Londorf. Ava Lonzinger. Jacob Manley. Ben Marquis. <laughs> Hazel Maslowski. <laughs> Dylan May. Liam McCabe. Luke McAvoy. Tristan McGilvery. Ella McIntyre. Lillian McKissick. Lauren Merchant. Chance Michelle. Chase Mills. Thomas Mitchell. Nolan Moore. Alexandra Morin. Zachary Morin. Sydney Morrill. Waylon Morrill. Joseph Rose. Malachi Mueller. <laughs> Riley Murphy.
Brock Nice. <laughs> Meredith O'Leary. Oriana Odeon. Courtney Orr. Anthony Paquette. Pelinato Patello. Olivia Polsonetti. Jacob Provencher. Carson Quinton. Liam Ream. Lolly Quintero. Lori Ricker. Joshua Woodland. Luca Rizzoni. Isabella Rokes. Sage Robinson. Clay Roundtree. Brady Robinson. Reagan Rule. Zariah Shah. Isaac Skids. Hunter Smith. Mia Smith. Mason Spencer. Addison St. Galay. Aaliyah Stapley. Landon Stefano. Lucas Stevens. Braden Stokes. Nora Stewart. Sean Sullivan. Morgan Tibbetts. Carter Townsend. Parker Upton. Xander Upton. Ethan Valley. Nikita Varney. Levi Tibbetts. Lakin Voishness. Yeah. 
Emma Warren. Lydia West. Jacob Willie. Jackson Williams. Malia Williamson. Colton Wood. Let's have one last big applause for the class of 2028. So momentarily, our students will exit the auditorium. They will use the stairs. Please do not jump off. As you, after your students exit, you can meet them in the town square. We have cupcakes for everyone to have a little snack and some pictures to take. Enjoy your evening, everybody. Thank you for coming.